Hey guys, Peanut here. Um, today I'm um, going we'll to be showing you Photoshop CS6. I just downloaded it today and it looks a lot better than CS5. Completely new interface, they've changed some settings around, but practically it looks the same apart from the interface. But they've changed about some stuff in the layout. Um, but to me, it looks like Cinema, looks more like Cinema 4D. But um yeah, so what I've been working on today on this is the spheres that I've made. So um here I was also doing changing some stuff in my background and this is a complete version that I've done with the spheres at the moment. It looks it reminds me a lot of Cinema 4D because of the interface and stuff and some settings as well but um, they've introduced a new 3D mode I haven't used any of that yet and I'm not really sure how to use it but um, it looks really good so I know I know off the top of my head how to get this for free so I'll probably do a tutorial on how to get CS6 for free but um, looking at this um, is really nice they've changed this down the sides they've put a new area thing called I'm not even sure what that's for there's, there's kind name effect mode attribute and color so obviously color and attribute will be changed in the colors and the attributes and the effects there's like drop sh shadow and stuff so maybe that's the um, layer styles and there's a new 3d section here and there's a bit here create a new 3d object um, but yeah I really well I just got this today I just got straight into it like I'll usually use CS5 and there's a new bit here as well there's animation frames so it shows each image that is being used and you get to click on each one to make it faster and they've taken off some stuff from here and there's a new um, layout in here as well there's like 3d 3d layout then there was essentials and this is design so for this my laptops running slow at the moment Um, but yeah, well, I'll wait for this to load. But um, CS6 it looks really good. They've changed the icons, they've changed the layouts down the side, and the different that the zooms down here, and you get to change it about. And instead of it being there, it's up here. It looks pretty much the same to be honest. But I would prefer this because it's not as bright as CS5 because the interface is darker. Um, yeah, CS6 is a really good program. So, with design, if you click design for the first time, we'll be doing this where the type tool initializes because I haven't used it in CS6 yet, so it takes a long time for it to load up. Um, yeah, as you see, it's loading up here. And to be honest, it doesn't take that long of a download, it came in two parts in WinRAR. Um, so there was um, part one, and part two. Part one was about 858 megabytes, and part two, I'm not sure about that, but they were they were pretty good. It was like half hour for each one, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, but um, yeah. So continue with here, then. Uh, There's motion, there's painting, and this painting bit is where the brushes come in handy. So there'll be a new brush um, layout kind of thing. You click on each one with the swerves and the type of stuff you got here. Uh, and then there's photography. And I'm really not sure 
what photography actually does because this is I'm new to this but then there's actions here and oh yeah and also there's history so everything is like kinda like Sony Vegas in a way because when you open Vegas it shows and you click file there's like a whole lot of um, history stuff that you've done but, but then on this one just click there and all your history will come up and you can make your own workspace as well but at the moment um, let's check out new in CS5 but with that this looks okay but I'm just going to stick with essentials because that's what I've been using so far well this is a finished image that um, I've used I made this spheres in Cinema 4D put them into Photoshop and just put some flares and I did a curves effect as well but um but um, yeah this looks really good well I'm finishing this off I'll probably use this as a desktop background and I'll probably do a speed art on how I made these spheres and probably will do a tutorial as well so um this is pretty much it with CS6 once um I get the hang of it I'll probably be doing some new tutorials on it um and I'll pro maybe do a tutorial on how to get this for free so um, this has been Peanut guys make sure um, you follow my Twitter Infected Peanut leave a like and a comment um, and click on the ads as well it helps because I get a bit of money out of this and yeah getting money I'm trying to save up for a PVO at the moment I don't really need a PVO but I want one so I can start recording and stuff and it'll help me get better at my editing so I can use my own clips instead of waiting to get clips sent in but yeah so this is pretty much it guys so like and comment favorite so people can see this and remember to subscribe okay see you later guys peace